The zoo veterinarians are generalists. We know a little bit about a lot of species. When we have an issue that's going on that's to a specific thing, uh, we, we bring in specialists. We bring in uh, an endodontics person to do all of our root canals. We're gonna bring a cardiologist to look at all of our hearts. We've started looking at our males in 2007, and five of our males are on uh, ACE inhibitors and beta blockers which would be the same medication that humans would be on if they had cardiac disease. Like humans, if the disease goes untreated, eventually they'll succumb to cardiac disease. We scan the gorillas with ultrasound, so we get to look at all the chambers of the heart, and we check for any um, abnormalities of their valves of the heart also. So the trainer will um, have them get in a certain position and make sure that they're ready to scan, and then they'll give us the probe and then we can scan them as soon as the trainer tells us that it's okay to start scanning. The gorillas can get heart disease just like humans can get heart disease. So we're gonna monitor the gorillas on a monthly to yearly basis to see how their heart is doing. They're like humans, they have different personalities, and so some of them are really, really good and they really like to, to be scanned. Um, like this one we just did, Mo, he's very, very calm and very nice and willing to let us scan him. Mo's perfect. He's our oldest gorilla, but he has a perfect heart right now, so hopefully it stays that way. They're just starting to look at heart disease in gorillas in the wild. Uh, we do know that it's a problem in captive males. Uh, it's uh, the leading cause of uh, morbidity and mortality in that species. We don't know the cause. We don't know if it's genetic, nutrition. Generally in the wild, they're very sedentary, so we don't think it's an activity issue. There are a number of echoes now that have been submitted to the Gorilla Cardiac Database enough so that they determine what are normals and what are abnormals. And it's about 70% of the population that's been affected. We plan on continuing this collaboration with the zoo, so as long as they want us, we'll continue to come to help them. It's been an honor to actually scan the gorillas. I've, this is one of the highlights of my career, I think, is doing this. So it's very awesome to help them.